Okay, let's move forward. What's the next step? Next step is to look at the actual application what Angular has generated for us. Now, you can see in your source folder, so similar source folder, you'll see an app, and you'll see your first component that Angular has generated. App component.js is a class component, and what we see in an app component class is basically a selector, which defines that it's a component, and a selector would have a couple of bits, a selector, a template URL, and a style URL. And then you have your class below. Now, what are these three elements? A selector is the way you reference, is what actually gets rendered if you look at your page. In your DOM, you would see here, your, your selector here getting rendered. Now, this is the selector. Now, that's the selector. Then you have your template URL, your HTML that it's linking to. You can see it here referencing it. This is the HTML that you see here rendered on this page. Then, if you go back, you'll see your style URL file, which is your CSS file here. And you would see your spec file, the test, basically, for your component. Now, when you're building components in Angular, there are different types of components. There is dumb components and there's smart components. Now, what are the differences? A dumb component is a component that will render your view, and a smart component is what interacts with data. Now, it interacts with data and then it passes to the dumb component, and the dumb component only renders it. It sounds a little complicated, but we'll get into it and you'll understand the differences. Now, why are there different dumb components? Well, the dumb components are there so you can reuse them across your application. You can actually build a UI library and then reuse it across your whole application. Now, in this project, we'll also create our own custom dumb UI library that we will reuse in our app. You will see how small our actual app is and how actually we have built multiple different kind of libraries in our project that we can reuse across and actually use it in other projects as well. Now, let's go look at a couple of designs and analyze them to see what is a dumb component and what's a smart component. So, our favorite is Dribbble. Now, if we look at the design, we can see a couple of components. Here, we can see this overall is a master layout, I would call it. This little part is a sidebar component. You would have a header component or page header. You maybe have a notification component, a card component that includes a list of a components of a list items. You may have another component here with a, a, a title and a couple of data. So the same component that you can see here, it can be re reused here, which is a card. And it basically all the card is responsible for is a title a setting and a couple of data to load in the middle. So I would call this a page. So I'll call so I'll call this a dashboard container with a sidebar, body content, and then maybe a user sidebar. Okay, let's have a look at another design so we can see here. That maybe is different. Yeah, this is another one. Done by Cuberto. Now, Kuberto has designed, now, Kuberto has designed a website, which is a thing that looks like a food recipe food, looks like a recipe website. And what you have here is a sidebar. You have a sidebar, you would have some kind of dynamic, dynamic content feature load, and your feature will consist of maybe, you can have a reasonable component called menu item, and then it reuses this again, and that menu item has a icon and a label. So these are all small components that you can create in Angular and reuse them. Okay, okay, let's close that one. Let's look at another design. Let's look into more detail into your UI library. So what would a UI library consist? Well, a UI library would have buttons, cards, sidebar, maybe page headers, um, titles, typography. Okay, so we looked at a little bit of components. We need to start building our own application. When you start building your own application, you start by building a UI library. Your UI library is going to be your first dumb component library that you can now then move on to building features, starting state management, and start navigating between one feature to another feature. Let's move on to the next lecture that we'll be focusing on building our first components.